overview of Oracle I procurement. Basically, I, Oracle I procurement provides a web-based shopping interface for goods and services, including requisitions for temporary rate-based labor. I would say that Oracle I procurement is a very widely used application and very easy to learn and requisitioners actually love it. So let's just go to Oracle and I will take you through some of the features of iProcurement. So log in as a user operations which is a super user and I will scroll down to a responsibility called as iProcurement. There you go. So as you could see out here you uh, you can basically maintain and define all your catalogs in the form of what you call as shopping stores. So if you click on anyone, it will take you on to the categories of your catalog and the users have uh, uh, have an option to go in each of the categories or simply go by a search button out here. Similarly, you can define shopping lists out here. And the shopping list basically is just like any other shopping portal it helps user to quickly go and select their items from the shopping list like a favorite okay then you've got um, something called as uh, non-catalog request through which users can go and raise requests for non-catalog items which are not listed in these catalogs so that can as well be predefined through something called a smart forms wherein a, a number of these fields can be pre-populated automatically again i'll be showing you the concept of smart forms uh, a little while later then you've got a feature called as contractor request which is used basically for ordering what you call as temporary rate based labor or fixed price rate based labor something like your uh, you're requesting for contractors for say for a period of 30 days to complete a part of a testing on a on a large project and and then you indicate that uh, you know the amount that you're willing to pay what kind of a contractor you're looking for and so on then whatever requisitions that you raise for goods or services those requisitions can be viewed out here in the requisitions tab as you could see and you can track your entire orders uh, for all these requisitions right from this tab so as you could see on the right hand side the orders have been listed out there and the requisition details here so you can click on this you can go and have a view of the requisition not only that one can also view the, the approval status of the requisition from uh, from this workbench so as you could see out here the status it shows if it has not been approved then waiting for approval that also will be shown out here and you can track what's going on in terms of the requisition workflow then the other important thing is at any point of time you can cancel or change your requisition so there is a cancel and change process of flow defined as a part of standard offering of Oracle I procurement then uh, you can do online receiving for your goods and services for instance if you have uh, if you have ordered for a contractor for 30 days to complete a project and once uh, the contractor finishes uh, uh, the project he will submit their uh, finished uh, you know work confirmation online and that you can receive it online and only when you receive and approve it online only then it, the contractors would be paid similarly you can receive expenses online submitted by the contractor so that that you can approve it and only then they will be paid through uh, Oracle payables so basically as you could see out here these were like the features that I've shown you at a high level but again as you could see the the total uh, look and feel of I procurement is just like any other shopping portal like amazon.com or ebay.com and it's very very easy to learn so again I'll quickly go through what we just uh, seen so it's a web based shopping interface for goods and services including requisitions for temporary rate based uh, uh, labor so we have seen how uh, a requisitioner can 
can submit the request for temporary labor then complete catalog and content management so I've shown you uh, the uh, the catalog and contents after it's been defined but it can be managed through a separate responsibility called as catalog administrator through which one can define new catalogs you know what's been listed out there each of these ones can be defined and the items within that the category within uh, those catalogs online approval management you can uh, define an approval hierarchy and then you can integrate with Oracle approvals management to define complex approvals it could be serial approvals it could be parallel approvals so that can be defined as well as tracked um, through Oracle I procurement so the tracking part is in Oracle I procurement but as far as the definition of approvals and hierarchy is concerned it's actually done in Oracle purchasing and the integration part of that approval is done in Oracle approvals management streamline order placement integration with purchasing so Basically, you can um, process your requisitions on um, iProcurement and if there is a blanket purchase agreement already in place, then iProcurement automatically picks the blanket purchase agreement based on the criteria given in uh, requisition if that matches and then automatically places an order based on the blanket purchase agreement to create it creates a purchase release based on the BPA and as I've shown you in I procurement those orders can be tracked online streamlined with sourcing to complete RFX negotiation cycle so for instance sometimes what happens if you don't have a contract already in place for goods and services that you uh, or the requisitions have requested then Oracle I procurement integrates seamlessly with Oracle sourcing through which a complete sourcing life cycle can be run which starts from requests for uh, information or requests for quotation and right goes on until the negotiation of you know receiving the quotations from suppliers analyzing those quotations deliberations negotiations and finally award and creation of a contract in purchasing so all that integrates with uh, uh, Oracle I, I procurement and can the, um, the results of this these processes can be tracked online in, in the form of when the contract is actually awarded to a supplier the purchase order is created and that gets automatically associated with that requisition online and that can be tracked and as I've mentioned earlier you can do a complete tracking online in Oracle I procurement so that was a basic overview of I Oracle I procurement I thought it might be a good idea to give that overview to you because we will be using Oracle I procurement now a lot in terms of the end-to-end -end process flow that I'm explaining you so in the next movie I will explain you a little more about Oracle services procurement and requisitions especially to services and how they can be raised in Oracle I procurement